Hi, and welcome back, guys. If you're someone who works from home like me, one of the biggest problems that I have is background noise. We have three dogs in the house, and they can get pretty lively at times, you know, just barking at people passing in front of the house, or when they play together, they can create quite a ruckus. And I also live in a pretty busy area, so we have tricycles and motorcycles and cars just passing by, and it can get pretty loud. Um, also, I use a mechanical keyboard, and some of you guys might know that these kinds of keyboards are pretty clicky and can be distracting not just to me, but also for my students. Also, it can get pretty hot in the Philippines, so most of the time when I teach, I have a fan directly blowing air at me, and it does hit my uh, my microphone, and it can get pretty loud. So today, we're going to be talking about two applications that can help you eliminate background noise. And we're going to put them to the test. I'll be letting you listen to some recordings where there is actually background noise and how well they eliminate uh, these noises. But before we get into it, please give the video a like. And if you haven't yet, please do subscribe and click on that bell icon so you'll get informed when I upload a video. So first, let's take a look at the first software, which is free to use. Um, you just need to go to their website, which is crisp. Dot AI. I'll also provide the link down below in the description. Now, all you need to do is to sign up with any email address, or if you prefer to use your Gmail account, you can. Here we go. Let's just click on the download tab and we download for, in my case, I'm using Windows, but in your case, if you're using Mac OS, it is also available. So let's click on download. Okay, so just go to where you saved your file, and in my case, um, I saved it onto our desktop. Double-click the installation file. Just click on next. Once the installation is complete, we just click on finish. Okay. And you will see right below in your taskbar that Crisp is actually now installed. So let's click Get Started. This will direct you to their website and you have successfully signed in. Okay, so let's minimize that. Let's start setup. It will automatically ask you which application you're going to be using it for. We have Zoom, Slack, Skype, Hangouts, Teams, WebEx, or any other application that you might be using. Now, if you're using Zoom or Skype or any of these preset applications, it, I'm guessing it will definitely set it up for free for you. So. Let's uh, let's try it out. So I'm not going to set it up on Zoom or Skype just yet. And we're going to test Crisp how well it can eliminate background noise. So right now I am using my recording software to record my, vo my voice. This is exactly how it sounds like when I'm not using Crisp. Um, I'm going to be reading uh, something from my favorite book. So I have my fan directly pointed at my microphone and I will be clicking on my mechanical keyboard while I read this. Three rings for the elven kings under the sky. Seven for the dwarf lords in their halls of stone. Nine for mortal men doomed to die. One for the dark lord on his dark throne in the land of Mordor where the shadows lie. One ring to rule them all, one ring to find them, one ring to bring them all and in the darkness bind them, in the land of Mordor where the shadows lie. Okay, now let's do a test uh, and let's enable Crisp. Okay, now I do have Crisp open now and let's see how well 
crisp can eliminate background noise so now i'm clicking with my keyboard right here and let's read the excerpt from the book three rings for the elven kings under the sky seven for the dwarf lords in their halls of stone nine for mortal men doomed to die one for the dark lord on his dark throne in the land of mordor where the shadows lie one ring to rule them all one ring to find them, one ring to bind them all, and in the darkness bind them, in the land of Mordor where the shadows lie. Now let's go to the second application, which is NVIDIA Broadcast. Now, this is free to download, but there is a catch. You need to have a NVIDIA RTX graphics card. This will only work with these video cards, nothing else. If you have an RTX card, this will definitely work for you. So that is the catch. You do need a graphics card that is compatible with this application. Let's do the sound test and see how well NVIDIA Broadcast eliminates background noise. So right now I have NVIDIA Broadcast disabled. I'm recording this audio on Audacity the software that I use for recording my audios and I have my keyboard right beside me clicking away and I have my fan directly pointed at my microphone picking up that uh, air so uh, let's turn on NVIDIA broadcast and see how well it eliminates the background Okay, so I now have NVIDIA broadcast in the background. I am clicking on my keyboard and let's read the excerpt from Lord of the Rings. Three rings for the elven kings under the sky. Seven for the dwarf lords in their halls of stone. Nine for mortal men doomed to die. One for the dark lord in his dark throne. In the land of Mordor where the shadows lie. One ring to rule them all, one ring to find them, one ring to bring them all, and in the darkness bind them, in the land of Mordor where the shadows lie. So, there you have it guys. You personally heard the difference between CRISP and uh, NVIDIA Broadcast. Now, let's talk about the pros and cons between the two. First, let's talk about CRISP. So, my first pro for crisp would be it actually does a pretty decent job at eliminating the background noise based on the test that we did it did eliminate the keyboard sounds and of course the air blowing from a fan pretty well it does what it advertises it does okay so that's a pro uh secondly um i like the feature where when you install the application for the first time, it actually lets you have the option to set uh, applications like Zoom and Skype easily. You just click it, it'll set it as the default application for your audio. That's a big pro for me, especially if you're not too uh, tech savvy or you're not familiar how to, you know, play around with the settings of the application you're using. So this application will do it for you automatically. Last pro is it's for free. You can't beat free, okay? I always love free things, and especially when they work. So in this case, Crisp does work pretty well. So my first con would be the voice peaking. The application really just focuses on your voice. It does eliminate the background, but it will increase the sound of your voice where it's already peaking or it's causing distortion so for me that's a big no-no that's a big con i want to have uh, a steady consistency for the quality of my voice especially when i'm teaching my students i want them to clearly hear uh my pronunciation and um uh, the way I pronounce certain words has to be very clear. So that's a very big con for me where it causes distortion or peaking. Um, next con is with the free version, you only get 120 minutes of use per week. So um, for me who works seven to six hours a day, 
uh, teaching English, that's not enough. So I am forced to upgrade to their paid version, which is only $5 a month, and it's going to be unlimited use. My next con is I am not sure if there's any difference between their free version and their paid version. Maybe their paid version has more uh, features where you can actually control the quality of your voice if it can eliminate too much peaking or distortion. So I'm not I'm not really sure if there's any difference between the free and paid version. So that's a con for me. I don't want to spend $5 and then find out that there's no difference where my voice keeps on peak, uh, peaking. But overall, it does what it says it does. You know, it does eliminate the background noise. I don't have that much experience with crisp. So not really sure how well it can eliminate certain sounds like for example construction work you know very loud banging or uh certain sounds like that i have tested it live when i teach i used crisp and it did eliminate my dogs barking in the background and other certain noises so uh overall would i recommend crisp yeah sure it's for free. Give it a try. For 120 minutes, maybe you can only turn it on in certain situations where, you know, you do need to eliminate background noise. So, yeah, I would recommend it, but it's in on your own discretion if you want to upgrade to their paid version. So next, let's talk about NVIDIA Broadcast. <laughs> I really, really love this application or software. It's one of the main reasons why I invested in an RTX card, not just for gaming, but for productivity as well. Um, it, it does a wonderful job at eliminating background noise. I have been using it for almost uh, one year now. And yeah, I've asked my students, especially if my dog is just beside me barking his ass off. And I ask my students, like, can you hear my dog? And all of them say no. What are you talking about? I don't hear anything. So it does a phenomenal job at eliminating background noise. Right now, I do have it enabled and I still have my fan directly blowing air to my microphone so it does an amazing job at eliminating uh background noise next another pro is it maintains the level of my voice there's no peaking um it's very consistent and i just love it i love it i even use it when i'm making videos i used to have a big problem because when i record my videos i would usually turn off my fan and it gets bloody hot so i'm usually perspiring on my videos if you watch my older videos you can actually see sweat rolling down my face okay so excellent uh quality for the voice which i highly highly like um, next, it, I've used it, I've tried and tested it for a long time, but I've never had any problems. They often have updates. Every time they have an update, it, it improves the quality of my voice and the way that it suppresses background noise. Uh, another thing that I like about NVIDIA Broadcast that we didn't really talk about today is it does have features for your camera as you guys can see i have a blurry background so this is a feature that is enabled on nvidia broadcast and i love it you know it gives me that effect where i'm the only one my camera is focusing on it gives it that you know bokeh look or bokeh i don't know how you pronounce it and i really like it um, it also has other features that you can use for your webcam, like it can eliminate uh, background, like a green screen effect. So it can also change the background. If you have a green screen, you're going to be using it for streaming or creating YouTube videos. Yeah, it can definitely, definitely do that. And it does a really good job. As you guys can see on my video right now, uh the lines for the blur is actually pretty decent around my body okay you don't have like any distortion it's nice and clean and gives a natural effect so that's a very very big 
Pro for me that it has that feature. Now, the only con that I have for NVIDIA broadcasts is that, of course, you need an RTX GPU or a graphics card, and it will set you back quite an amount. Uh, I was very lucky to pick up my RTX 2060 Super for only 18,000 pesos. So yeah, that's a pretty big amount to spend on just eliminating background noise compared to the $5 that Chris uh, offers. Uh, but I'm a gamer, you know, I love playing video games. So it, it's a win-win situation for me. And I know... And I do know that uh, graphics cards are pretty expensive and hard to uh, get your hands on at the moment. So yeah, that's that's quite a con. But if you already have the RTX card, download uh, NVIDIA Broadcast, install it, and start using it. Uh, it just works wonders. So there you have it, guys. So this is just another tip that I have for you guys, uh, especially for people working at home. And hopefully you found it entertaining and informative as well. So for now, I bid you guys very well. Always stay safe. Wash your hands. Keep social distancing. And always stay safe. I'll see you on the next one.